welcome back. What is going on? And we are back today with our next FIFA World Cup predictions video. We are up to the quarterfinals, which, if everything goes according to my predictions, which there is a very high chance that it doesn't, of course, it will be a very power-stacked, very entertaining quarterfinal. We're going to have four big matchups with perhaps the biggest showdown in the world of football right now in this quarterfinal. The first matchup we're going to go to is France. We're going to start on the left side of the bracket. That looks like the right, left, whatever. On the left side of the bracket, we'll start with our first matchup, France versus Spain. Now, this is going to be a really interesting matchup. Um, it's going to be very high-powered offensively. Both teams have a lot of offensive firepower. Um, and a good defense behind them. They're two of the best teams in the world at the moment. But I do think this victory will go to France. I'm going to say it's going to be 3-2 in favor of France, and France will move on to the semifinals. Now, I know that could be a controversial prediction, um, but I do think France, especially by the summer, they're just going to have the slight... Spain is a bit older of a team. I know that doesn't affect anything too much, but I think France is just going to slightly have the edge with Griezmann and Pogba and Benzema and Giroud and, and Lloris and Nett. I just think they're going to, and Conte, I just think France is going to have a slight edge over Spain, and that slight edge is going to manifest in a one goal victory. All right. We'll move on to the second part of the quarterfinal bracket on staying on the same side, who will meet France in. The semifinal will either be Brazil or England. Yes, yes, England fans, you are back in the quarterfinal for the first time since 2006. Anyways, this is, I mean, Brazil is Brazil. They got Neymar, they got Coutinho, they got Marcelo, and a bunch of other guys. That are always, and they are always, always, always good. But during the World Cup qualifiers, they were a little off, I want to say. Like, they weren't exactly the best. They haven't shown that they, they've lost several times in the, to Chile and Argentina. And they are fighting for supremacy now. They used, they've been kind of the top team for the last while. But now they've kind of fallen off a little bit behind Messi's Argentina and Sanchez's Chile. Chile. So, yeah, man. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a tough match. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see it go to penalty kicks, to be honest. Um, but I do think there's going to be a bit of an upset here. And I do think that England moves on. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't say that with a straight face. Um, no. Yeah, um, I think it's going to end up going to Brazil. 3-2 um, to two as well, probably. Or 4-3. It's going to be a high-scoring game. It's going to be close. Um, but I do think that Brazil will just edge it out ever so slightly. Um, I think England will give it a good run, and I wouldn't be surprised if England takes an early lead, but I do think that Brazil will finish the game. Now, I could very easily be wrong, and England could win this game. This game is a very big, I want to say almost 50-50 toss-up. So, my pick is Brazil, but there's always a, there's a great chance England could win this game as well. So, don't hate me for not picking England. England. It's a 50-50, and I'm throwing the dart, and whichever side it hits, I'm picking Brazil. So... I could very easily be wrong here. Um, now we will move on to the other side of the bracket for our third matchup between Germany and rivals Belgium. Now, the former World Cup champions are look to be stacked. I mean, the guy who won them the World Cup doesn't isn't really a part of the team anymore. <laughs> Goza, he's kind of fallen off in his career the last few years. So... But yeah, uh, Belgium's got a great team, and so does Germany. This is going to be probably a very interesting quarterfinals matchup. 
Uh, I mean, with guys like Hazard and Lukaku and Origi, and oh my god, and uh, and Courtois and Net. Jeez, man, Belgium is stacked. They are stacked. And then of course we have Germany, led by Manuel Neuer and Ozil and uh, and Müller. My God, and Kadira. This the. the uh, both of these teams are so freaking stacked, it's ridiculous. And I want to say it's almost a shame that they have to meet in the quarterfinals, to be honest. As this would be a matchup that you would love to see anywhere in the World Cup, especially towards the end. But they are meeting in the quarterfinals, and I do think this is going to be a very, very tough game for both sides. It's going to be a lot of hard-fought battles. Um, I think it's going to come down to the corner kicks, to be honest. Um, and whoever has their, or, and the free kicks, whoever wins the set piece battle, I think is going to win this game. So I am picking Germany three to two over Belgium. Now this one, like all four of these quarterfinal games were 50, 50 picks of, I mean, not just statistically because that's true, but there aren't really super clear favorites in these games. Uh, I mean, Brazil might be a slight favorite over England, but England's gotten much better the last couple of years. So, that might be the only one where it's a bit of an edge. But otherwise, these games are all, I can't even pick a favorite. So, I'm picking with the team that I just think it's going to come down to whichever team is better on the day. So, for all these matchups, whichever team has the better day is going to move on. But I do think Germany will move on 3-2. to two, And they will play once again in the semifinals. And Belgium will once again be eliminated in the quarters. Now, we will get to the matchup that is going to be probably the biggest matchup of the World Cup, if it does happen. And this, I think, will be a bigger matchup than even the f than anything maybe except the World Cup final. So, And it might even be bigger than that. This is Argentina versus Portugal. Messi-Ronaldo. In the World Cup. Knockout rounds. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> This is going to be, this 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 game is going to come down to Messi or Ronaldo, whoever has the better day, is w their team, their country is winning this game. It's coming down to Messi versus Ronaldo. That's how it's going down. So, I do think both of them will frankly have a good day, and I do think that it's going to be up to, I say they're both going to put two goals in, they both will. But then it's going to come down to the rest of their teams to pick up and see who wins. I, Messi and Ronaldo, I think, will be evenly matched. But I think Argentina takes this game 4-3. to three. Messi will get the edge of Ronaldo this time. <laughs> and Portugal will sadly be eliminated in the quarterfinal. Um, yeah. So, our semifinals, at least my predictions for the semifinals in the World Cup, is France versus Brazil and Argentina versus Germany. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below of my semifinal predictions for the World Cup. And as always, like and subscribe. And, of course, tell me what you think. I will be back tomorrow with our last FIFA World Cup video for the semifinals and the final. And I will reveal my prediction for the World Cup winner this summer. All right, guys. Richard the Guru here signing off. Have a great day. Peace.